just arrived. Something I've been wanting for a little while now. Actually, it's more like several months since I've started my adventure into the gothic slash punk fashion. All the way from London. I got these for about $199. And from their actual website, they were like 199 euros. I think I got these for steel. So here it is. So I got the New Rock M106U1 Tower. Um, these are in the color, which is black. Because I, I want it black. Um, these are apparently a Euro size 39. I finally had myself a damn pair of new rocks and they're actual, genuine, authentic new rocks. Like, I'm so excited to get this. Like, can you see that? Can you see that? These are actual new rocks and I believe these are the actual leather. They do offer vegan leather if you're not aware. We'll leave the link down below. I don't know if these are still available. But again, these are in a size 39. So hopefully these might be a little bit big, but I'll make them work. I want to get like more pairs of new rocks because I'm all about boots. And for me personally, I need ankle support. I have weak ankles. All y'all out there that know the struggle, you know. They have a nice insole. With thick socks, these will definitely be able to work. I wanted to get a Euro size 38, but going based on the UK or the uh, size 6 unisex, I wasn't sure because I'm typically a uh, woman's size US 7, which would put me at about a UK 38. Now the bottom also too. Look at that. It's so beautiful. So I'm not sure how well you can tell, but there is a... Uh, the new rock branding and it just does say they are made in Spain and then they have all the hardware like guys I am so excited this is what overtime pays the reactor sole this is from the reactor line so it has a natural sole that shows markings and small holes around the sole the originality of this product is the irregular soles which are unique that they are I'm gonna get the uh, New Rock Reactor boots, um, I believe the ones that I want to get next after I get the Neptunos, which are a little bit more expensive, but they're these M600S1 or the M1032S1. Either one of these, either that one or that one, and they look very similar, so it's kind of hard to tell go on with me trying them out for you guys here are the shoes I am really obsessed honestly with this look and honestly this is probably something that I would feel comfortable wearing on a day-to-day -day basis Probably with my hair straight, but even with it kind of curly and looking nuts, it kind of goes with this outfit. Like, again, with the Lord Farquaad hair, but I would probably end up wearing my hair straight or maybe back with a, a cool hairband, something like that. But these are the shoes right here. So, Hope you guys like this video. If you did, please be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you guys in my next video.